Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I've got an all new Shop My Stash. I'm trying a different setup today. I thought I liked it. Now I'm not so sure, but let me know your thoughts down below. I just got this desk in that you really can't see from this angle, but I'm thinking I might want to film over here. I did also just put up some wallpaper on the wall in front of me, so I'm gonna play around with a few different options. You might see a few different backgrounds in the next few videos. Definitely let me know your thoughts. This one I'm filming in front of a window. Well, a window behind me. Just trying a bit of everything. But it's been a while since I've done a shot my stash, so I'm really excited to update you guys on this one today. Normally, when I do my shot my stash videos, I work exclusively out of that basket for the three week rotation. However, because I did just move, I didn't fully stick within that basket. Like some of my products, I ended up having to pack away. Some other products, like once I got here, I kind of grabbed for something else, especially because I've been doing my makeup a little bit differently since getting here just because it has been so hot and so humid like today when I'm filming this we just got like a ton of rain from Hurricane Elsa so it's just complete like very very high humidity right now so I'm keeping my makeup a bit more minimal these days I mean today I put on a bold lip just to tie it together but because of that I haven't fully just worked out of like one makeup basket so I'll show you guys a little bit of everything and I did have some questions about what I did when I moved so I put the makeup that I wanted to travel with in this Allie Glines bag this is the small bag she also has a large bag and then it has the two mini bags inside of it. So today I'm wearing a very simple look, but I'm wearing the Persona Cosmetics Identity Palette. You guys know this is one of my all-time favorite palettes. This was not in rotation, but I've just reached for it the last couple of days. However, you did see me wearing Lilac You A Lot from ColourPop in my Project Pan update. So I wore this in that video because I was in the mood to wear Lilac Purple Eyeshadow. What I actually ended up doing though, for my move, I made myself a palette with different eyeshadow singles in it. So I just picked out a few random ones. I thought that I would end up using this so much more than I did and I actually did not end up reaching for this too, too often. What I have been probably doing the most is just putting some bronzer in my crease and then one of my Sigma eyeshadow base sticks using that as just a cream eyeshadow on the lid. So I've been a bit all over the place with products, but what I'm planning to do, I used to keep my everyday makeup basket in a literal basket and then kind of keep that by the mirror that I would get ready in. But here I'm going to end up putting a mirror on this wall right here. And then behind me, I have my makeup drawers and I ended up cleaning out my top drawer for that to be my everyday makeup drawer. So I'll just grab what I need out of that drawer. So all of these products that are gonna be my new Shop My Stash products we're gonna pick are gonna go into that drawer. Ooh, one new product I've been testing. This is new from Urban Decay. This is their translucent all nighter powder. This is the new version. So it's a loose setting powder, but it's supposed to be a little bit more glowy and not as matte as like their brush off powder or their pressed version of this powder. I like it. It If you have oily skin, I don't think you'll like this. I would say it's probably best for normal to dry skin that wants something a little bit more lightweight, but it definitely is lightweight. I've also been testing the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil in the pressed form. So this is kind of confusing because the packaging looks just like their powder foundation in the pressed form, but this is the Mineral Veil, which is the setting powder. I'm distracted because Tilly is down by my tripod over there. Okay, I don't want her to knock it over. <laughs> so she does love to do that. She would like rub against it and try to knock it down. I don't think I like this. I'm so shocked. I love Bare Minerals. I normally love all their products, but I don't think I like this. I'm gonna keep testing it. Weirdly, I feel like it makes my skin look dry and it also does not lock things in. I don't think it's as similar to the loose version of this as I wanted it to be. I don't know though, it could be my shade making it look dry. I have sheer light. I don't know. I thought I was gonna really love this. I was so excited about it. So far, I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep testing it. Have you guys tried either of these new powders? Let me know your thoughts if you have. Hmm, I turned this lamp on. What do we think? I'm still playing around with a lot of things. So for this next makeup basket that we're about to pick, here's my vision. Anything long wearing, like if it, okay, Urban Decay All Nighter, I'm probably about to put the entire line in the makeup basket this rotation because I have been spending a lot more time outside. I've been going for a lot of walks. It's sweaty, it's humid. Anything long lasting, 
that's going to be key. But I also am thinking kind of some more minimal products because that's kind of been my style recently. It's just been a little too hot for me to want to do like a full glam face, says me wearing a red lip, but you know. Really just kind of a summer inspired basket. That's my vision for this. So this was a pretty quick intro. I normally spend a little bit more time talking about each product, but just my table just came and the box, like I put it together, but the box is still out there and Tilly's trying to get in the box. She has been loving all of the boxes that come along with moving. She is like thriving, living her best life. It's just like boxes everywhere. Okay, with that, let's hop into the selection. Okay, look how good this top drawer looks now that I got a lot of it decluttered and used up. Oh, this is still in here. I put a bunch of little foam things that I've gotten in like packages and whatnot that I've saved. I put them in between all of these when I traveled with this in my U-Haul to kind of keep things a bit more secure. I put some foam in here. I put in tissue paper and all that kind of stuff. So for base, okay, remember the name of the game is long wear. So let's of course take the Urban Decay All Nighter as my primer. And then for foundation, I wore this the other day and I think it's gonna be a great option. This is the Bite Beauty Changemaker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. This is one of my absolute favorites. I wear the shade L20 and it's just, just really beautiful. It has some good coverage to it without being too full of coverage and the finish is nice and natural. And then I'm thinking with that, I'm gonna do my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. I wear this one in the shade Natural. Again, uh, this one is a kind of a nice satiny finish and the coverage is a bit more medium. So I think this will be a nice summertime option. And that's gonna be everything from this drawer. The setting sprays I'll just kind of grab periodically if I feel like I need one. As you can probably tell, this drawer is by far the most full, but for blush, I've been wanting to put this one in for a bit. This is from Nabla. This is one of their skin glazing products. This is the shade Lola, and I love the highlight and bronzer, but I don't feel like I've used this blush too, too much, but I feel like that bright red is gonna be so beautiful for summer. So I definitely wanna throw this in. And then I think I already want to put this back in from Bite. So this is their Daycation Blush in the shade Melon Mojito. It reminds me so much of the Charlotte Tilbury wands, like the blush toned ones, except the wear time on this I think is a little bit better, but also it's not as blendable as the Charlotte Tilbury. But formula wise, they're so similar. And I like this for summer. You know I love sunburnt blush, so I think this will really be beautiful for that option. I'm also gonna be putting in a face palette. Let me actually just show you now. I wanna throw in this one from the Lip Bar. So this has blush, bronzer, highlight, and powder. So this is in the lightest shade. This is called Go Off. The palette is the Minute Finish, I never can say this, Minute Finish Face Palette. This comes in six shades, so there's a shade range for everyone, but I have the lightest one and we'll use the a little bit of this. I like to use this as contour and I'll of course reach into the other ones as well. Also, I think I wanna reorganize this drawer and maybe put some of the concealers in the drawer above it just because this is like way too full and the drawer above it is pretty empty. So. Let me know if that's something you would like to see. Maybe I'll film that. I'm thinking let's do a cream bronzer. So let's do my Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I actually did just pull this in the other day for a look, you know, nice and easy for summer. I've been more into creams recently, so I wanna put in this option. For a concealer, I just keep going back to this one, but I really love it. This is the Born to Glow from NYX. I have mine in the shade Vanilla, and this really is one of my absolute favorite concealers. The coverage is a bit more medium, but it's so natural and beautiful, so I wanna throw in that. Hmm, I'm trying to decide, do we do another bronzer? Because I have my Project Pam bronzer, I have the cream one, and then I have, okay, no. I just spoke it all out loud. With the palette, we're gonna be good. But let's do another highlight. Let's do this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight. This is actually the highlight I was wearing in the intro clips to this video. So again, nice summary option. So I wanna put in that. And then for powder, I have my Project Pan powder, but let's also throw in, uh, let's do this one again, just so I can keep testing it. This is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Pressed. So I wanna be able to review this for you guys in the next week or so. Well, maybe a little bit longer out than that, but I do wanna be able to review it. So I need to keep testing it. So let's put this back in. So that is gonna be everything from this drawer. All right, we are now down to lips. I definitely wanna do some bold lips because the palettes I've picked out are a little bit neutral. So let's do my favorite orange. Oops, no, this one that I throw in all the time. This is Persimmon from e.l.f. 
so beautiful it's only three dollars it's one of their seriously satin lipsticks and it's so amazing let's also throw in this one from bite this is a shade that i made uh this was i made this a couple years ago at the bite lip lab i've actually done it twice this first one i made right here was before i was ever on youtube and then this one i made a couple years ago but this is such a good 90s nude so let's put that in Another one I had in kind of recently, but I'm already ready to do again. This is the Persona Lip Gloss in Twilight. Weirdly, I don't normally like this type of product, but this lip gloss I love so much. Every time I wear it, I think it's gorgeous. It's kind of clear, but it has these gold shimmer reflex. So I think this is gonna be a really pretty option. Oh, you know what else? Let me put in this, cause I need to keep testing this. This is new from Sigma. It's their Renew Lip Oil. And these are just their lip oils. It's similar to a gloss, but slightly thinner but the color that i have is called tint okay keeping things pretty simple let's also just do a tinted lip balm this is one of the e-balms from persona it's the shade meditate and it's a nice nude okay i'm thinking that's going to be all for lips as always if i want to grab any of these glitters i'll just kind of grab them throughout the week or so and for eyeshadow palettes i went ahead and picked out three three small ones actually so first of all, I've been wanting to put this one back in for a minute. This is my Deuce palette from Juvia's Place. Do you guys remember, if you've been around for this long, like this used to be my absolute favorite palette. Do you guys remember those days? I still think it's beautiful. I love all the pinks. And then I have some pops in here if I want to do something kind of colorful. I also wanted to throw in a neutral option. So this is the Natasha Denona Mini Glam. You know, it's one of my absolute favorites in my entire collection. But I also thought, let's do the Rosy palette from Sigma. So this is one of their nine pans. This is the only nine pan that I kept because you know I love pinks. And I mostly put this in because I just watched Angelica's Will I Buy It video and she had on this gorgeous coral look. And honestly, this palette's probably too pink. I would almost need something more coral, but I was like, I need to wear some pinks and corals and bright colors because that video and her look inspired me. So those are all of the palettes i put them back into the alley glines bag but then i'm going to put them all actually into this top drawer right there and that's going to be everything for this stash thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one